مدينة دوما خمسة ثمانية جمعة الله معنا يطلقون النار على المصلين 12-8-2011 دوما الصبرب of دمسكس مدينة دوما مدينة دوما اطلاق نار على المتظاهرين an activist in Duma gave us this footage showing clashes between troops and protesters. They say it's been going on for months. This is why we asked the government for permission to visit Duma. It was the first place in Damascus to see protests. As we enter Duma, the mood changes. We start seeing soldiers. Look more closely. They're concealed in this olive grove. A car joins us. A group of men were told know this neighborhood. They'll show us around. We ask them to go to places where people gather. They take us to a filling station. We've been trying to negotiate uh, with our escorts, as they're called, what we can see in in uh, in these suburbs of Duma. And it's clear they don't want us to see very much. It's the time of day when not a lot of people are out in the streets. But they still don't want us to go to the markets or, or places like this. They don't really want us to film here. It feels like a ghost town. We insist we have to meet people who live here. They insist we need to move on. Our next stop, a roundabout. Pretty, but deserted. We were hoping it was a gathering place so we can meet some of the people of Duma, but in fact, it's pretty quiet here. We hear the call to prayer. Could we go to the main mosque? They say there isn't one. What, is, what does he want? I just say? You haven't done anything wrong. Okay. Well, we haven't we haven't finished Duma yet. We haven't even talked to one person in Duma. I haven't spoken to a single person. You want us to go? You want us to go? Please, yes. Okay, we're going. Okay. Okay. They tell us it's for our protection. Terrorists could attack us. We were told we had to leave immediately. We weren't really told why. It's really frustrating because. We were told by the government we had to show the truth of the situation. But how can you do that when you can't even film? This may be what they didn't want us to see. This footage was filmed by activists. They say it's from the day we were there. A demonstration and then arrests. can't do anything here. I'm terribly sorry. Okay. We asked Thank to you. go back. We're back in Duma again. After our last visit, we complained to the government, so they've given us permission to return. Oh. We drive past the olive grove where soldiers still wait <laughs> and return to the roundabout where we had been told to leave. Last time, we filmed trees and a flag. This time, a palm tree is part of the story. Is it bloodstains, do you think? Syrian it's officials told us a bomb had been found here the day previous. They wanted us to see the work of what they call armed gangs. Now, around 1 to 1.15 yesterday, three uh, officers were trying to dismantle a bomb planted here. But unfortunately, the bomb was being detonated from the remote. So the man who was in the front trying to dismantle catch it with his uh, hands has been split into two pieces. His companion, the other two, were killed. One man drives up on a motorcycle, saying he hadn't heard any explosion. A crowd starts forming. There's confusion about what happened here. But why would it kill if it didn't destroy the tree? Hard one to answer. As the crowd grows, there are more men in shell suits, shadowing us, talking on mobiles, listening in. At times like this, Damascenes who don't have a nice thing to say about the government usually don't say anything at all. 
but unexpectedly, one man starts speaking. Tell us your story, sir. He wants to be heard and seen. He tells us his son was picked up by security forces yesterday. And what was your son doing? Was he protesting? We were leaving the mosque, he said. There was a demonstration outside. We weren't at it, but they started shooting towards us. We were separated, and I saw him being dragged away. His mother is crying, looking for him. Are you worried? They will arrest him. Uh, they will arrest him. Uh, Why did you decide to tell us your story? I'm afraid now, he said, but I've told you my story. What will happen, will happen. No, 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 a foreign camera here and people wanted to tell the story. In fact, this man is very brave to tell us the, the story of his son who's been taking, taken in. We head down the street to Duma's main mosque. We are immediately surrounded by young men. Suddenly, it's a protest. Their voices carry. Within minutes, security is on the way. A bus has just arrived with soldiers, and yet they are still chanting and they're not leaving. This is our weapon, they say. The camera is our weapon. We wanted to stay to see how this would unfold, but we are told we must leave. There's a threat against us. But we don't miss everything. Soldiers. Soldiers to the left. Here we go. Left. Oh my God. Oh my God. Welcome to the. Oh my goodness. The area. I can't show you what's happening to the right of me, but there are two green buses full of soldiers and they're pulling away from the square. They just flooded this area just moments after we were here and people were criticizing the government for arresting and shooting at people. As soldiers move down the street, our second visit comes to an end. We're leaving Duma now, but unlike all the other places we visited during our time in Syria, we leave knowing what people think because they told us. There's a horrible feeling. We don't know what's going to happen to them now. We still don't know what happened to the people we met. Today, some activists sent us this footage from Duma. We can't verify it, but it appears to show soldiers outside someone's door. 